Okay, so that's y110. The next one would be y111, and then the next one would be y1112. Unlike integers, which take up four bytes of memory, a character takes up one byte of memory. Okay. Why is that? So if we go back. here 0 and then we go all the way over here to 255 right so uh, we have the representation of one byte one two three four five six seven uh, we have one two four eight sixteen thirty two 64 128 and if we turn all of them on 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 what does that give us Sixty four plus one twenty eight plus thirty two plus sixteen plus eight plus four plus two plus one two fifty five, right? So this here can hold a combination of two hundred and fifty five different characters. Down here, two fifty five, so one byte. It's only needed to represent any of those characters, right? If we wanted to represent null or not nothing, nada, then we would make all of these ones zero, and then we have zero because we're not adding anything. Remember, if the one is here, then it means add this one, and add this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. But if it's not there, then then it's zero, right? So. That's how this piece works. That's why we only need one byte of memory to represent uh, C and then plus and then plus. So a total of three bytes. Okay, questions here? Okay, so if you're like, hey, I came to this class to code, don't worry, you'll get a chance to code with strings. But we have to understand how they work in memory and how they were built. Okay, so let's go here and uh, string functionality, right? So let me, because we can eliminate that piece, and let's go here back to our code. Uh, I'll go ahead and save this. Uh, And we created a string, right? So that's all we're going to do. We're just going to create a string. OK. So that goes in as a check-in. OK, so let me plot this piece again here. And we'll uh, go into more concepts. Okay. Well, that's a curly brace, but I guess it doesn't look like a curly brace. So we have that in main, and let's again draw. But we'll make our uh, box bigger because we need more uh, addresses for this next example. So again, we have heap, we have free store. And I'll draw more lines here. Okay. So our program runs, main gets loaded onto stack, and then we have that piece here. 
And assuming we'll, we'll use the same address, assuming this was still Y110, we're like, okay, Y110. And then we're like, okay, C plus plus. And the stack is X100, right? Just to differentiate address blocks. And what goes here, hopefully by now, you know it's Y110, and then we always do this arrow to state that that reference is that memory block. Let's go back to the code. That was the same diagram that I drew before, but uh, let me explain why I'm doing that. Okay, so we're like, uh, number of characters in the string. Uh, not Python, right? <laughs> Sometimes I do the opposite for uh, Python. Okay. And then we have C out. Uh, capacity of string. Capacity. What's capacity? Uh, max number of strings the lang variable can hold and let me explain that okay let's run this to see what we get size of string three capacity of a string 15 what does that mean okay so let me uh, go here and maybe I didn't draw enough lines right so let's go here okay so so what is that telling us Okay, let me see, uh, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119. Obviously, I'm using decimals, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125. Okay, so what that is telling us is that when this string was created, C++ allotted 15 bytes of memory, meaning we can hold up to a length of 15 characters before we run out of the memory that C++ gave us, right? So this is what I mean. So they gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 so we are using one two three but we still have the capacity to hold 12 more characters what if we add uh, 13 more characters will we use this block here or what happens okay so if we append 13 characters then we are beyond the capacity of the block of memory that was granted to the string so in that case this memory algorithm will go and grab a bigger chunk of memory and all of these these oops all of these characters that would be here would have to be moved to the new block of memory how can we demonstrate that right well we have to add we have to append uh, more characters, right? So let's let's do that. Uh, let me see here. Uh, we go here, and we're like lang dot append uh, one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I went one extra on purpose, right? Actually, let me just do actually one. <laughs> Should have done 13, right? I went, I, I got too greedy here. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's just do 12. And then we will display everything again and then we will investigate the output so now we want to be like okay what's the size and what's the capacity okay so let's do that so let me clear this piece running terminal okay so we have size of string 15 capacity of string 15 so we are using all the memory locations that were granted to the string so we have oh, did it start at zero oh, forgot i think i did no one okay so one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12. So I added uh, 12 characters plus 315, so I'm at max capacity. So if I add one more, then what C++ will do, it'll have to like go get a bigger chunk of memory, increase its capacity, and then move all the values uh, byte by byte into the new <clears throat> block of memory. Let's see how that goes, okay? So notice uh, <clears throat> you can append to a string, meaning like if you had C++ and you append, then they'll be appended to the end of it. You can also uh, use the keyword pushback. So you can say lang dot pushback, and then someone wrote code to make this happen, right? Pushback, and I'll say uh, three. And then we will have that output. We want the value of the string, the size of the string, and we want to explore the capacity, what happened, right? So let's go and run this piece. So let's run it, uh, run in terminal. And we are interested in the second output, right? So the last output here, this one right here. So notice uh, it does get at three, right? Here it went up to 12, up to two or 12, right? Here we have one, two, three. Size of string 16, but notice the capacity, capacity of string 30. So how does that happen? Well, C, a C++ expert programmer wrote code that asks for more memory and once that memory is given then it copies character by character <clears throat> all the characters from the original string into the new string memory memory block and c plus plus or the programmer said well i'll have 15 blocks 15 bytes and every time I run out, I'm just going to double it, okay? Meaning not triple it, not quadruple it, double it. The, I guess they did some research and they were like, yeah, like if we double the size and we're not like jeopardizing memory consumption, and that should be okay. Because imagine if the string's like a thousand characters long and we're like trying to quadruple it, then that's 4,000. So they just decided to double it. So that's what happened here. So I'm not going to draw the diagram, but somewhere in memory they went and looked for a chunk of 30 bytes where it was con uh, continuously free then they they were like hey give me that block of memory who does that the c plus plus memory algorithm and then uh the characters were copied to that new location so the someone wrote code uh, to copy values right it just didn't uh appear there so questions here with this concept?
let me uh, stop and start.